I'm out of shot. Um, hi, good morning. It's Amanda from AJ's Allotment. I um, hope everybody's well and enjoying this lovely, not so lovely cold weather. Although today I'm told by the weather forecast people that we are expecting it to be a brighter, warmer day today. Um, so fingers crossed for that. But. So what I thought I would do this morning is um, quickly show you what seeds I've been buying. Because um, obviously I mentioned before about the cut flower garden. So uh, my Sarah Raven seeds arrived. I thought I would just run you through some of the things that I'm excited about this year. Right, so we'll start with the Sarah Raven one. So um, they come in a nice padded envelope. Um, and they also come with a few other bits and bobs. So you get a, a catalogue, some information um, about um, events and classes at uh, Perch Hill and other places and there is also a growing guide. One moment I will fetch that. I should be prepared really. So it also comes with a how to sow your seed guide um, which I thought was really good actually. I wasn't expecting that. Um, it tells you all about um, obviously your different methods of sowing, hardy annuals, uh, big section on sweet peas and um, a lot of what I've ordered is sweet peas so you have hard annuals and then it just tells you how to sow things sowing in gutters and then it's got all your dates and things so I thought that was really really good um, that it came with that because I wasn't expecting it so uh, let's have a look at what we've got uh, I'll show you what I've sowed already in a moment but these are what I'm going to sow. So mainly sweet peas I've got. <coughs> I'll, show, I'll show you all those in a minute. So um, this is a great sunflower for cutting, especially for bouquets, which is Helianthus um, Vanilla Ice. That one. Um, this is a zinnia mix, which makes a nice bouquet. So it's the pale zinnia mix, which I thought was lovely. This is Giant Zinnia Dahlia. And then, um, this one hasn't got a picture, but I will tell you what it is. It is um, Amaranthus Red Army, or other people might know it as Love Lies Bleeding, which is a herb. You can eat um, the leaves. And it's the one that, it's a foliage plant, so it's the one that has all burgundy um, foliage down. Let me pop that down because you can't really see me. Um, and then some uh, grass for foliage, which is uh, bunny tail grass, which I think is great. Uh, this was a mix that came together. So there was, um, actually it's this one. So you've got the, the candy floss poppy. And that came with an, um, the high scent sweet peas to match. So it's like a bouquet that goes together. When you order it, it's actually under a collection. So they come together. Um, one of the best cutting cosmos is, is uh, purity. It gives quite an abundance of a crop, so I've, all, I've got some of those. Uh, Nigella, Love in the Mist, and um, this is a white one, so it's double white. I love Nigella, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful when it's in flower, but also when it goes through its seed pods, it's really, really pretty. Um, I've got the some blue Love in the Mist in the garden, but I wanted some white. And then I've ordered some scabia, um, Tall double mix. So that's um, ones that I sow later on in the year. Most of those are March sowings. I think they were all March sowings actually. So they're all to sow in March. Um, what I did sow yesterday is all the sweet peas that I ordered um, from Sarah Raven. So um, I got the High Scent Memorial Flight, which is a nice white sweet pea. Oh. <coughs> Uh, this is a, a vintage silk sweet pea mix, which I thought was really pretty because I can put that together in bouquets. And then these are what I got from the, um, just some seed packets I got for 49p from the range, which was some cornflower and uh, another sweet pea, which is called Giant Wave Mix. Like I say, those were from the range, those two. But they're what I sowed yesterday was all those sweet peas. Um, now, I know there's lots of people doing it different ways, and I've done the other sweet peas in the cold house, but I wanted to um, see if I could give these a bit of a jump. So what I did 
I got one of these plastic storage boxes. And then I made all my toiletries a little bit longer. And I've sewn all of those into this. And I'm going to keep it on um, my windowsill in the living room. Just because it's my brightest windowsill. But, um, and look so far so good with the labelling because I always forget to label things properly so I'm quite impressed look each one has a label there I'm uh, quite pleased with myself on that one so hopefully they'll get off to a good start being on a sunny windowsill <clears throat> so that's my Sarah Raven collection like I said that's all for cut flowers um, which I'm really hoping to get established well this year and um, find out what I like what I don't like um, and what works, what doesn't work, what people like and then on to the rest of my seed and yes I am organised, my seed box is organised so I have started sowing seed <clears throat> let's see if I can raise this up a bit one moment I don't think that helps a great deal Okay, so I've got my camera sorted now. I am chopping my head off, but that's only so I can show you this seed box. Um, right, so what I've done is kept my dividers that I made last year. They're very snazzy, not really. Um, and each one has the month, and then I've just popped them in. So as you can see, clearly, um, I've bundled these up look, like this for March, because March is huge. So I'm just, I'll just show you some of them. I won't go through everything because there's just too many. So these are at the front. These are what I've sown already. Um, a lot of them are from the Real Seed catalogue, which I was really excited about as well. Um, if I find those ones first, I'll go through what I got from the Real Seed catalogue first, I think. Um, so what I have done... Um, in pots again inside is from the Real Sea catalogue I've got um, sweet peppers so we've got purple beauty um, which is a nice like almost black pepper um, lipstick early sweet pepper it's a uh, it's red like lipstick obviously but it, I think it, it's one of those that's bridging on almost quite it's got quite a strong taste to it um, and it's an, one that you've got to start early. So I've started that off indoors. And um, this one is after me. It's Amanda. So this is a sweet wax pepper. Um, and apparently they are a bare th three to four inch yellow fruit with a square shoulders. So that's a yellow pepper. So I've got a red and a yellow and a purple. Um, I'm really hopeful that they will turn out nice. Now I'm going to try my hardest to save seed, um, but there are there is a bit of things you've got to do to do that. And um, the good thing about the Real Seed catalogue is if you go on their website, it does have the help guides on how to propagate and save your own seed and how to do it properly. Um, so it's got all the information you need there. And um, these are the lettuce mix that I think I actually filmed those them when I was doing it, didn't I? Um, again, that's the Morton Secret Mix. So they're different uh, varieties of lettuce. Some hearted, some let uh, cut and come again. Um, but they don't have individual names yet. So they're in the greenhouse. I actually showed that on my last video um, from the greenhouse. I also ordered peas from them, um, which are Champion of Engl England uh, tall ones. And I like the story behind these. Um, so there's an old variety by Robert Woodbridge. Um, it, Ro Robert Woodbridge's grandfather in 1940 from a manor garden in Pickworth, Links. So I say I live in North Lincolnshire, so it's almost local. Um, and his grandmother passed the seeds over to the Real Seed Company in 2007. So, so from 1940, um, these have been grown in this sort of area. Um, so I was really interested in the story. So and they grow really, really tall. Um, how tall does it say? Uh, it says you, you can pick from. It doesn't tell you on the packet, but um, yeah, they grow really tall, tall ones like your runner beans and things. So I'm I'm interested in those. I'm going to pass some seeds onto the school because the school, primary school, are quite interested in the story behind those as well. 
um because there's a bit of a history lesson too so they're what i got from the real sea catalog um like i say most of those have been sewn already and then i've just got bits and bobs of seed really so i've done some common crests just because i wanted to see some that's come up quick um i'll stick it in some butties and um, white lisbon and these were just a cheap pack I got from, again, from the range, 49p, and some of my others arrived, which they have done now. String onions, so I'm hoping to get real big clumps of string onions this year and really get them going. I haven't sewn any of these yet. These are, um, these came with a Grow Your Own magazine. I've got quite a few seeds with them. Um, and these are a broccoli. They're a bit like a sprouting broccoli. Um, and I actually need to get on with sewing those, so they're on my agenda. I've done some snowball. Um, I've got general different mixture of lettuce, lots of lettuces, uh, cut and come again, spinach, beet, things like that. So uh, these are some Californian poppy seeds that I've saved from the garden. I'm gonna hope they come up. I'm gonna try them, set them up in modules, and um, because they. I'm going to expand on those. They do self seed every year anyway, but there's only a small clump, so I want to get more. Um, I've got some leftover stock seeds. These are what, a lot of what I've got left over from like last year, so there's only a couple of seeds in there, but that's a mackin or cucumber. Now, they did do okay. I had a few. They taste nice. Um, small bell peppers, um, some Calvert and Wonder peas. Um, so I've set those off to get some early pea shoots and things. Uh, again, they're quite a good variety. Um, Kelvard and Wonder, I've always grown those. Um, so they're nice tasting. You get quite a few peas in a pod. Um, they're nice to eat raw. Uh, got some breakfast radish. Some more breakfast radish. I don't know why I've got so many uh, radishes. I haven't even set any off yet. So again, I've really got to get on with sewing stuff. Um, I'm going to do these again, um, they're really expensive in the shop to buy and I didn't think they would grow well and they did grow last year but this year I'm going to put one in the greenhouse to make sure we get that crop because um, just as they were um, starting to produce the fruit was when the weather turned so we didn't quite manage to get as much as we could have done. So I'm going to do one in a pot so I can bring it into the, um, into the greenhouse when the weather does turn um, and you can overwinter them. So I'm going to try that this year. Um, my daughter really likes these and my son. So um, Cape Gooseberry, they get off really well um, in terms of germination and everything else. That There was no problems whatsoever. Um, so definitely doing those again. Uh, I've still got lots of varieties of tomatoes left over. Look, I've got plenty of big packs of seeds. Um, I think I got some of these free with uh, Grow Your Own magazine last year. We've got... a uh, Marmand, which is a big breakfast tomatoes, Gardener's Delight, which obviously are little small salad tomatoes, Money Makers, they always do really well. Uh, what I was most impressed with um, last year was the um, on this one, uh, the San Maraz, um, the big plum tomatoes. They absolutely fantastic. Um, and great for stewing and cooking down there was I actually did a, a recipe post where, with those and using them up um, but yeah I really enjoyed my tomatoes last year so lots of tomatoes this year um, some more calendula um, I've saved some seed there isn't really any left in there um, oh some more seeds from the real seed catalogue I've, I've got some so uh, sorrel now obviously it's a perennial and if it's not kept in check it will um, take over a bit uh, this one um, has a good lemon flavour. It's called Bellaville Sorrel. So I'm going to use that. And you can use it as a lettuce. You can cook with it to make a soup. So there'll always be some form of food in the garden using that one. Uh, these are my other seeds from Grow Your Own magazine. So uh, all the year round lettuce. Golden Acre Cabbage. So I didn't get any cabbages off this year because they all got eaten and stuff. So hopefully um, I'm going to have some cabbages. And greyhound. I have grown these in, in in my garden before, just in a tiny small bed. So if you are doing um, your gardening and 
grown your vegetables from a small backyard and you've got a tiny bed and um, these are great as an early crop so you can obviously sow these have them early and then you can take them out and get someone else in but i did really well with those and i did use them as cut and come again for a little while so rather than just waiting for them all to heart up occasionally i would take some leaves off um but yeah, that was one of the first things that I grew when I first started growing vegetables in my back garden um, about 10 years ago. So I would recommend Greyhound. Um, it, it's a nice little spring cabbage. So I got those free with the magazine, but I'm going to use them anyway. Um, and then we're going to get into March. Look. Holy moly, look at all those. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. So just things like you've got kale, you've got your carrots. Um, I do chantonet quite often I do them in little window boxes in the garden because the kids can see them growing and um, the rabbits get the, the tail ends and things I ain't got rabbits now sorry the guinea pig now and um, they can have any of the small thinnings and stuff like that I'm not really had much, much success with carrots in the allotment so I'm, I don't know whether I will put any in or not because um, they're easy enough to buy but like I say I always do some chantonet um, more lettuce, little gems, there's some sweet here, um, the best of all, then some more sprouts in broccoli, some marrowfat peas to make some mushy peas, last year they all got eaten by the pigeons, um, I never saw one, so hopefully better, I'll be doing the Utah, green Utah celery again, very small compact plants, they're not like what you get in the supermarket, but the leaf is so flavoursome. Um, I just add that to my um, soups, casseroles um, and things like that, but I got very small actual stalks. But the, God, it, it packs a punch, like a tiny little bit is like having a full stick of what you would get in the supermarket. So very worth the flavour. They were from Just Seed last year, so I've got some of those left. I'll be doing lots of sunflowers again love my sunflowers and um, with what I've got left over seed wise I've got some in some envelopes so March is very busy also purple print zinnia I saved some seed from those uh, and there I've got lots of lupins I've never grow them from seed before so I'm going to give those a try I've got some antirhinums they'll be more from our um, pots they're not the big ones some black pansies um, some candy tuft um, I'm not sure about this but I'm going to sling it in and see so I've got a real mixed bag really um, these are a must these are essential for um, growing these are called Groshaw and they are sweet heart at no, they're not. They're from Unwind Groshaw and they're called Seville. Um, so I'm going to give them a go. Last year my sweet corn was terrible. So fingers crossed this year I'm going to have a good year. Um, but yeah, there's loads more, tons more um, of seed. I just wanted to show people what it was I was going to be doing. Um, I, hopefully there's some varieties you rec recognise there. Um, and it's going to be exciting if I can be organised because there's a hell of a lot to get going. It needs space in the greenhouse, the allotment needs to be ready. Um, but as you can see, it's spread out through many months. Um, but yeah, we're, we're up and running, we're off to a start. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. And speaking of subscriptions, um, thank you very much for all my new subscribers. And if there's anything you'd like me to cover, or see more of and um, please comment below um, and hopefully I will be up the plot maybe today I might get up there today um, and then coming up in the next few days I ordered one of the mystery boxes it was when I, I mentioned on Amanda's allotment when she did her mystery box reveal somebody suggested getting from us uh, from the same company so I ordered one of those and um, so when I do my reveal we'll be able to compare um, with Amanda's to see if people get pretty much the same thing in them so I'm really excited for that it has been dispatched so it's due any day really so I can't wait to um, see that that was the point and um, the doby seeds and um, I've ordered some of the um, sprout, uh, flower sprouts uh, collets so I'm really looking forward to those and some white Lisbon and um, I like the seed packets from Davies because you get a little 
part at the back you can write when you've uh, sewn them and any notes for when things come up. So they're actually quite a nice packet. I do like those. Um, anyway, I was saying goodbye, so I will do this time. Take care and remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all again very soon.